That was a heated public meeting over public safety in North Idaho. A week ago, the fire chief for Timberlake Fire District pulled 17 trucks out of service because he says they're not safe to use. The Timberlake Fire District serves the town of Bayview. The issue is dividing the small community, and now many are demanding answers. KXLY 4's Annie Bishop is live in North Idaho and was at that meeting tonight. Annie? And that meeting was so packed, neighbors were turned away at the door because the building was at capacity. Now, this is such an emotional issue in this area because we're talking about equipment firefighters depend on every day to save lives and property. The debate now, why did it take so long for this to become a, a, a public issue and who is going to pay for it? Inside the Bayview Community Center, frustrated neighbors went back and forth. Six. Okay. Boy, sit and down for God's sakes. Let the man what? finish. Sharing opinions. You guys got a real problem. Concerns. I am very disgusted with not only the fire chief and the fire department, but the commissioners themselves. And demanding answers. The question that we have is why wasn't it taken care of? I'm, I'm, I'm getting to that. Hold on. Last week, Timberlake Fire Chief Jack Krill pulled 17 of the district's fire trucks out of service because he says they are not safe to use. The decision left five of the district's six stations without vehicles. We consulted with our liability insurance company that insures all these fire departments all over the country, and their recommendation was put your least efficient truck in service and get the rest inspected. It's a decision firefighters and their union have been waiting a long time for. The equipment in question was purchased, used more than a decade ago. You can't fix most of this stuff. It was junk. It is antique. And it is not the chief's fault. He didn't buy one piece of this equipment. To pay for the repairs, the district is considering a levy to go before taxpayers. And that has many questioning management. We want our fire department to work within their budget, like the rest of us have to do. And we, the taxpayers, and our equipment will not be held hostage. Thank you. Another option for the repairs is to dip into the $100,000 from the district savings account. Fire Commissioner Marty Fish says tonight's meeting will help leaders come up with a plan to get trucks back in service. A mission made much easier if everyone can get along. It's going to be hard, but we got to do it. And we're told three trucks were put back in service today after a certified mechanic specializing in emergency vehicles cleared three of those trucks to be put back in service. We're told the other trucks will, are scheduled to be checked out in the next couple days, and that's when they'll have a total on how much all of these repairs will cost. The public hearing tonight has been uh, moved or scheduled for tomorrow as well uh, at 730 at the Athol Community Center. Reporting live, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News.